a fearless leader. She's an advocate extraordinaire. She is a great role model for me and for all of us. And so she's very deserving of this award. very, very, very supportive of me. Um, you know, there's been a lot of times where he couldn't really do anything for me other than just sit with me and be there. And, um, you know, there were times where he couldn't even like hug me or touch me because my whole body was just in so much pain, but he could be there for me. But he gave up, he gave up his wife, you know, like who I, who I was before the things that we used to do. Um, you know, but he just stuck by me and he just, you know, he never really gave me any crap, which is, you know, the, the best thing, you know, um, if the house was a mess, he didn't, you know, just say like, well, you're home all day long. Why didn't you clean anything? Like he knew that if, if I wasn't doing something, it was because I didn't feel good. After I got COVID in July of last year, I had a basically a 24 7 i hate to even call it a headache it was head pain it was very debilitating um i was in the emergency room several times just for pain relief it was terrible definitely gave me my life back i mean i had i had no quality of life i was getting and i'm a very happy um very active person and this was this threw me for a loop i was depressed i couldn't exercise i mean all of the things that i love to do spending time with my family and being active i was just halted and so after seeing her and getting the botox treatments and finally having some medications to take on those bad days um, i turned i mean i literally turned my life around and and had had my life back and so i am eternally grateful <laughs> To her, you know, she's always, always, always looking for um, alternatives, and and she's up on her research, and she's she's just a wealth of knowledge, and I'm I can't express how much gratitude I have for finding her when I did. A big part of Evie's story, she was just diagnosed um, May twenty seventh, twenty twenty with hemiplegic migraine was that from the beginning, we tried to um, help her to accept her diagnosis and to talk to adults who were successful who had hemiplegic migraines and, um, and how to become an advocate for herself so that she wouldn't feel um, like she had to hide that sometimes she needed accommodations. Because I think, you know, she's 12 years old. She was diagnosed at 11. In her first period class, she stood up and said to the teacher, I have a 504 plan and I have hemiplegic migraines and I was out of school because I couldn't walk and I need you to give me my textbook and to let me do my homework in a notebook to hand in um, the next time I come in person. I was just so, so impressed with her that she, she, she took what was a very challenging diagnosis, a challenging year, and um, and wasn't afraid to stand up for herself and for what she needed in order to be a successful student. And uh, she had straight A pluses last yeah. year. I wish she didn't have, I wish no one had migraine disorder, um, but I'm, I think she'll help the community by being herself.